Welcome everybody, my name is Blood Ruler, and today we are building a PC, or a computer. So this motherboard looks really different to a normal motherboard you'd see, like MSI or like ASUS, mainly because this is from HP, and this is also from a pre-built. And the pre-built I decided to take apart and build it again for some content, and because I enjoy building computers, so just do it for fun. All right. So for our CPU today, it is a AMD Ryzen 5 3500, a really good budget CPU. Okay, let's, if this could let me open it, all right. This is not new, like I said. You will see like bits of thermal paste on it. And by the way, this is not a tutorial. This is just like, you know, for fun. See, so here it is, beautiful. Align it with the triangle. Triangle is right here. Right there's a triangle. Slot it in, give it a little little push. And there it is. CPUs your CPU is installed. Let's do the RAM. Take these both out. This is not a four slot, this is a two slot, so it doesn't matter where you put it. Both thumbs on opposite sides for equal pressure. <laughs> I don't know if I'm gonna keep that in the video. We'll see. Oh my god. All right. There we go, clicks. Make sure you check the slot and the slot over here. So, as you can see, there you go. Now you have your RAM fitted in. Let's do the SSD. Match the notch with the notch on the motherboard. Put it in there. So to hold it down. Screw it in. And then your SSD is installed. Alright. Now let's install the CPU cooler. Grab your thermal paste. Thermal paste. P-sized thermal paste dot. That's plenty. Okay. Power is gonna be right there, so I'm just gonna do it right there. Yeah, that works. Line up your screw holes with the screw thread. Okay, all is good. Now screw it in. You want to do it on the diagonal side because to get, create even pressure. I am still learning how to build computers. I already built one before. Well, I built my new PC and so far no problems. I did really well on it. I'm pretty, really, really proud of it. Usually when I'm, usually you know when to stop when it gives resistance. Like right there, there you go, that's good. There you go, that's good. All right, nice and tug, plug that baby in. To the CPU fan. There. Now it is connected. Okay, that's everything. Now let's put this in the case. So we have the pre-installed fan that's always been there uh the psu usually i i don't want to take this like off the case just in case you know safety precautions so i did it Squeaky is the chair, by the way. <laughs> okay, now let's screw everything in. All 
All right, and it's all in. Now let's plug in this fan. So as you can see, there is a there is a three pin right there. So let's plug it in right there. There it is. Okay. Let's plug put, connect the Wi-Fi cord. With new, newer motherboards, you would not have to do this. This is just an old motherboard. By the way, that brown thing on my screwdriver is a magnet, so I can connect, uh, pick these up. All right. Now I think we're set to plug everything in. So light goes right there. So right here, I was just plugging in all the cables and everything that I needed to be plugged in. So uh, I just memorized where the cables were because I took a photo earlier from the PC before I took it apart to where all the cables are. So yeah good enough right there um this is for the cpu i mean the, the graphics card let's put it right here looking good so far okay and for sata it goes right there Back in the GPU or the chip shortage. Okay, I'm struggling with this. All right, there. This is when I bought this PC, in like 2021. So like when everyone, like when, like RTX 3060s were like a thousand dollars, and this I bought for 800. An Nvidia GTX 1660 Ti. So with this type of case. Make sure it's Where's that? Line up the slot right here. The slot there. All right, it's almost there. Make sure this is good. I'm done. Very gently. Push it in. There you go, it's in. Now, I did forget to install this to the power command. So let's put that on there. There you go. Now, connect this 8 pin GPU. And there you go. It is almost done. So these come with the keys. These are, this is the hard drive tray. There it is, now I gotta screw that in. This right there. Okay, now let's put you back up. We don't fall apart. should be in. 
Skeleton. Alright. I'm not going to put the front panel on. I'm just going to power it on. Alright, I'm back and I got the cord right here. Let's plug it in. Alright, everything's plugged in. Moment of truth. Look at that. Oh my god. This PC works perfect. The green light is lighting up. As you can see. I know it boots because I checked before I built it that it boots and it boots. So, yep. There it is. A nice working beautiful PC. Let's put the front panel on. The front panel has like one screw right here. If you can see my thumb, like if you see my finger, it goes right here. Okay, so my phone decided to not work, but um here it is working nice and good here's my new PC recording all of it but yeah, there it is thank you for watching the whole video I worked really hard on this video uh, I built the PC like four times and I constantly messed up like the recording stopped and all that so I'm really happy that I managed to do it and I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys liked the video. Subscribe. Tell your friends. And thank you. I appreciate it.